And I know you will love camping too. They're both right. I love camping too. It's a lot of fun. Hi, I'm Lauren Davis and welcome to RV Destinations. I'm here at Leo's Vacation Center getting the motorhome service and getting it ready for our next trip, but today we have a great show planned for you. Come with us on another exciting RV adventure as we travel the country roads of Southern Maryland in pursuit of outlaws, ghost ships, and snakeheads. We'll meet the youngest mayor in the state of Maryland and we'll clue you in on a beautiful place to hitch up your RV when you're ready to turn in for the night. And if you start to feel like you want something good to eat, you know the feeling. You're running on E and your tank is empty. We'll tell you where you can find the most lip-smacking, tantalizing barbecue in the state of Maryland. So good, even President Obama stopped in for a taste. So my RV friends, sit back and relax while we do the driving. RV Destinations is brought to you by Leo's Vacation Center. Okay, so we drowned the fire, yep. stirred it, mm -hmm. drowned it again, mm -hmm. and now just feel if it's cold. Yeah. Cool. Smokey just gave me a bear hug. I know. I already posted it. Shop hundreds of new and pre-owned RVs. Thanks to our selection of the nation's top RV brands and great prices, we've been named the top 50 RV dealership in America, and we are Maryland's number one RV dealership. Great deals await, like new motorhomes starting at 59,900, fifth wheels starting at 32,900, and travel trailers starting at 12,900. Plus, get our lifetime warranty. Leo's RV, there's no better place to shop RVs. Start your vacation at Leo's RV. Rev up those engines, RVers, because our first pit stop is Buzz Creek, Maryland, where you're in for a wild ride on a dirt track. It's the World of Outlaws Late Model Series at the Potomac Speedway, where racer Dale Hollage and his mom, Denise, keep the thrills coming. Hi, my name's Dale Hollage. We're here tonight with the World of Outlaws Late Model Series at Potomac Speedway in Buzz Creek, Maryland. We're here to have some fun. All right now, all right. Uh, we're here tonight at Potomac Speedway uh, racing with the Super Late Models, the World of Outlaw Late Model Series. We race here throughout the Mid-Atlantic region at racetracks up from Pennsylvania to North Carolina through Delaware. Uh, a lot of times we're, we're going all weekend, uh, you know, live out of our, our motor coaches here and uh, just travel around. Uh, we got a couple guys that help me, friends of mine, uh, just try to have fun. Behind every successful man, there's a great woman. And at Potomac Speedway, the woman behind the scenes is General Manager Denise Hollage. My husband started racing here probably 30 years ago. I worked for the previous two promoters. So when they got done, they needed somebody to promote. So Greg Gunner took it over and asked me to be the general manager. I've probably been here 35 years. It's a great place, family fun facility. Great racing every Friday, March through October. We have four demolition derbies a year, two in June, two in September. We have seven different divisions here. Most nights we run five divisions. Our premier division is super late models. Then we have a limited late model division, a crate division, pure stocks, enduros, strictly stocks, and U cars. So there, there's a variety of different classes for different people as to what they can afford. Uh, the cars are uh, two chassis. Uh, this is a rocket chassis, uh, 900 horsepower engines. Uh, everything else is pretty much unlimited. Uh, it's, a, it's a wild animal. Rocket chassis, 900 horsepower engines. I'm hooked, but how do you get started? My dad always raced when I was growing up. So, uh, you know, as, as I come along, I was helping him. And then when I got of age, you know, Started racing in lower divisions and uh, moved my way up, and uh, you know now we uh, got a ride provided by Gunner's Honey, and uh, we get backing from him. He owns everything, so we uh, we like to race as much as we can. 
been a few younger guys getting into the sport. Uh, you know, if anything, have the parents come out and let them watch. That's how they, they get involved. And, uh, you know, then once they get old enough, hopefully they get involved. I mean, that's that's our future, you know, just like I did. If none of the young kids get involved, sooner or later, the sport's going to die. Thrills and excitement in a family atmosphere. Tomek Speedway's great. St. Mary's County in general is great. There's so much stuff to do down here with the water, the restaurants, you know. Come on out to Potomac Speedway. If you haven't experienced dirt track racing, you haven't experienced dirt track racing. She's right. If you want some excitement, head on down to Potomac Speedway because I guarantee if you love racing, there's nothing more thrilling than seeing those cars come roaring around that track. It's dirt track racing at its finest. But next, let's slow things down a bit for a different kind of excitement, ghost ships. Just 40 miles south of Washington, D.C., in Charles County, there lies a fleet a ghost fleet of over 150 wooden ships discarded and forgotten by the government long ago during World War I. And so now, they lie abandoned, burned and buried in the waters of Mallows Bay. Come with us as we get to the bottom of this ghost story. It's a short ride from your neighborhood to your naturehood. To find a neighborhood park or green space near you, visit discovertheforest.org. Shop hundreds of new and pre-owned RVs. Thanks to our selection of the nation's top RV brands and great prices, we've been named the top 50 RV dealership in America, and we are Maryland's number one RV dealership. Great deals await, like new motorhomes starting at 59,900, fifth wheels starting at 32,900, and travel trailers starting at 12,900. Plus, get our lifetime warranty. Leo's RV, there's no better place to shop RVs. Start your vacation at Leo's RV. Oh, look, a redhead. <gasps> Staring contest. You still got it. I know. Come alive with the forest. The dad was cute. You were looking right at us. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. Camping is a great relaxing, relaxing experience. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> I just enjoy being outside. It's relaxing. When we travel, we're able to go to all different cities, uh, set up, enjoy the different parks and diff different atmospheres. We can go to the beach or we can stay at the pool. You get to go out and um you set your gear up and everything like that, and then next thing you know, you can just sit around and relax, and everybody has a good time. You tell stories. Again. <laughs> so the fire was going out, so I took the gas can, and I was pouring the gas on top of the fire. Well, the fire trickled up the gas can and caught the gas can on fire, so I had to drop the gas can, and when I kicked the gas can, I kicked it towards a group of people, and they all scattered and ran out. It was quite embarrassing. I've been to Pennsylvania. I've been to Delaware. In Ocean City, Maryland, um, West Virginia, Virginia. Uh, I do a lot of camping and uh, all the activities I do when I go camping, fishing, hunting, uh, swimming, uh, just sitting in the river to relax if there's one at the campground you're at or where we live, where we have a place and we have a nice river, we go sit and relax when it's hot out, you go and cool down. Um, we just always have a great time. It's absolutely fun. I usually take, uh, this time it'll be 20 people up camping and we have a great time. It is the largest um, shipwreck um, collection in the, in the Western Hemisphere. Now a lot of people want to go see it. It, it was incredible. I mean, all, seeing all the vessels and the history and the culture and you're able to just come up right next to the boats. It's really just incredible. 
It was really cool. It's good to get away from the devices and get the nature. Yeah, it was really fun seeing all of the um, ships and all of the metal pieces sticking up. Um, the, there's the oldest shipwreck there is from the Revolutionary uh, War era. Most of them are World War I steamboats, wooden steamboats that actually never saw action. They didn't um, go over to Europe during World War I. They were almost obsolete when they were built. And so they were, to make this short, they were purchased by um, Western Freight and Salvage in about 1920 and they were towed up from near Norfolk, towed up to the Potomac River right across from Mallows Bay for salvage to take the steel out of the ships. Most of them were almost 300 feet long and about 46 feet wide. And we're talking a couple of hundreds of, the, of these. That's a lot of wood and a lot of metal. The value was in the metal, not in the wood. So the challenge was, how do we get the metal? And then what do we do with all the wood? And so they towed many of them up to Alexandria and took the metal, the, the big metal, like the engines and the props and things out in Alexandria. Then they towed them back to Mallows Bay. And then they were kind of sitting there for a number of years until the Great Depression when the, um, they call them wildcat salvage uh, people were out there dynamiting the ships and taking yet more metal out. At this point now there are uh, about 150, I think, um, wrecks left in the bay and they're burned down to the water line so you pretty much see the hulls and you can see, still see some of the fire, the charring on them and still see a lot of metal, um, big metal pins sticking out and metal strapping. And um, a lot of people, when we go kayaking out there, say, you know, well, there's still a lot of metal here. But when you think about actually trying to get that out, it would not be very cost effective. But I think that's one of the fears that many of us have, is that at some point, people may be desperate enough, or the value of steel may be high enough, or iron, that we will want to go in and do yet another salvage operation. So we have uh, a nomination for Mallows Bay to be the next marine sanctuary. It's really interesting too, from an ecological perspective, is a lot of the wrecks have, remember they were dynamited, right? So they were stripped of metal, burned, dynamited, and now, after about 100 years, they've formed islands. We call them flower pot islands. So you have this huge hull that is basically an island with trees, and some one has beaver lodge on it, and bushes, and flowers, and bird's nests, and they're all shaped like, just like a hull, because that's what's holding the soil in place. So that's kind of kind of neat, and uh, it's a, just a great area for wildlife. A lot of bald eagles and ospreys, and it was pretty much shut off from the main world for a number of years until the park, the county park, opened up about five years ago. It's amazing to see nature's triumph over man's destruction, and we didn't see any ghosts. Coming up next, RV Destination joins Captain Mike Starrett as he pursues the elusive snakehead. When you see the lily pads spread apart like Godzilla running through the woods towards your lure, the last thing you want to do is set the hook. You want to feel the fish and then set the hook. And then stay tuned. We'll clue you in on a restaurant where the baby back ribs are so good the president dropped in to try some. I bet he could smell those ribs from the road, y'all. But first, let's find out how to catch a creature that has the head of a snake and the body of a fish. It's a short ride from your neighborhood to your naturehood. To find a neighborhood park or green space near you, visit discovertheforest.org. Shop hundreds of new and pre-owned RVs. Thanks to our selection of the nation's top RV brands and great prices, we've been named a top 50 RV dealership in America, and we are Maryland's number one RV dealership. Great deals await, like new motorhomes starting at 59,900, fifth wheels starting at 32,900, and travel trailers starting at 12,900. Plus, get our lifetime warranty. Leo's RV, there's no better place to shop RVs. Start your vacation at Leo's RV. Hi, 
I mean, shoot, Monday, I'm going to be fishing like crazy. You know, you see professional bass fishermen sit there and, and hit these certain spots and you're like, oh, they're catching stuff. So, you know, as, as a native, I know where these spots are, you know, looking along the coastline and I'm sitting there thinking, oh, Monday, oh, th those fish are gonna be mine. So I've been pursuing the uh, snakeheads for eight years now because they are such a great game fish. They're fantastic to catch if you catch one. That's the hardest part. Hey, Captain Mike, the fans of fishing are waiting to hear exactly how do you catch that snakehead fish and why is it so difficult to catch? Hi, I'm Captain Mike. Um, I'm a fishing guide on the Potomac River for 25 years now. I've been out on Mattawoman Creek for pretty much 20 of those years and I've been pursuing the snakehead for eight years since they showed up. Probably the best thing that ever happened to the state of Maryland. I love it. I start every trip at 3 p.m. in the afternoon and we fish past dark. In that uh, special moment just before dark we call golden hour. Golden hour is gorgeous skies but the fish really get hungry about that time. They have tough mouths, they're very hard to hook and when you see them rise up out of the water that little two inch hump that speeds over to your lure and crushes it. Very visceral, very visceral. We're finding that the snakeheads are very hard to hook and you really gotta set the hook hard when you feel the fish hit. So this is the jump frog, it's from Thailand. It's handmade in Thailand. It's got a double hook with a keeper. It's got a little bit of lead wrapped around the tail so it moves through the water. It'll actually sink if you let it. It has to move fast. Snakeheads are trigger fish. They trigger on fast moving baits. They do not go for something moving slow. When you see the lily pads spread apart like Godzilla running through the woods towards your lure, the last thing you want to do is set the hook. You want to feel the fish and then set the hook. This year I had a record evening. I caught six seven snakeheads in one night. Dave caught one, I caught six. That is a record for me. Don't forget to feel the fish before you set the hook when you're fishing for that hard to catch snakehead fish. If you love to fish and want to pursue the elusive snakehead, contact expert fishing guide, Captain Mike at www.indianheadcharters.com. Hey Mike, our fishing fans want to know, can you eat a snakehead or would you even want to? Speaking of food, let's pay a visit to that restaurant where the president got those baby back ribs. Texas ribs and barbecue. I know we can eat that, RVers. Danny Sager, what made you want to open a barbecue restaurant? I was hungry. I love to cook, I love the people, and I like for people to like the product, what we do and uh, I've been pretty successful. I bought a little uh, barbecue trailer set aside the road and uh, started selling barbecue and it took off for me. I uh, did a lot of traveling around checking out recipes and all over the country from Texas and back and I like Texas the best so I named it Texas Ribs. Everything is made in-house, everything. We don't, you know, we make our homemade potato salad, everything right here. The restaurant is packed and everyone seems to be enjoying their food. How do you cook such great food? What's your secret? Slow, cook slow with, a, with wood and smoke all over it. Like our brisket, it's cooked for 14 hours, slow. And a lot of restaurants and places don't cook it, don't know how. Everything is fresh, homemade. From the burgers, we got fresh half pound burgers. And nothing's frozen, okay? And uh, all the way through. The coleslaw, uh, it's all homemade right here in French. They love the ribs, they love the uh, uh, baby backs here, they love us, the servers. Um, they mainly come for the servers, no, it's for the food. <laughs> they come for the food. Um, it just feels like home here. We make people feel like it, they're home. Food is uh, very good. Yeah, it's. Uh, but you, you, guess what you probably uh, eat at home? It's wonderful. Um, we enjoy it because it's right in the neighborhood. It's quality food, great service. It's like our extended family. My husband and I used to come in here years ago. 
and I always knew it was a friendly, down-to-earth home kind of restaurant. And now that I work here, that's exactly what it is. It's like you saw today, the military, police, um, we're close to Andrews Air Force Base. And uh, the couples that come in here have been in this area forever. And it's kind of a nice little local diner. And our bar, it's like Cheers. Everybody knows everybody. They grew up together, went to schools around here together. And um, it's just, I don't think you find that, like diners are, that are just like family oriented. Our RVers want the lowdown on the day the president came. What happened? Who met him? And what did he order? Yeah, he scared me. <laughs> yeah, no. I didn't know he was coming or anybody, but we did know it was somebody important because of the security came in on us. And uh, of course, I didn't know who it was, and I was just an old sweatshirt. It was amazing. He got uh, baby back ribs, and I said to him, aren't you going to eat with us? And he said, no, I'm going to take them back to the White House, and I want to pay for them. And I said, of course you are. I'm not. And he left me a $30 tip and he signed his bill for me. He popped in and he was anybody in the restaurant, he had pictures taken with him and very, very nice. And uh, it was a nice thing to do. And it did help our business. He stayed about 45 minutes because he went down the aisle. There was a few people in here. Talked to everybody and shook their hands. It's unbelievable. I wish he was running again. Aha. Uh -huh. He took the ribs back to the White House. I wonder if he shared them with Michelle. Shop hundreds of new and pre-owned RVs. Thanks to our selection of the nation's top RV brands and great prices, we've been named the top 50 RV dealership in America, and we are Maryland's number one RV dealership. Great deals await, like new motorhomes starting at 59,900, fifth wheels starting at 32,900, and travel trailers starting at 12,900. Plus, get our lifetime warranty. Leo's RV, there's no better place to shop RVs. Start your vacation at Leo's RV. Okay, so we drowned the fire, yep. stirred it, mm -hmm. drowned it again, mm -hmm. and now just feel if it's cold. Yeah. Cool. Smokey just gave me a bear hug. I know. I already posted it. RVers, it's time to introduce you to some of the folks at one of the best kept secrets of Charles County, Goose Bay Campground and Marina. It's co-owned by two wonderful couples who provide many wonderful activities for kids and parents alike. We stopped in on a Sunday morning and we were welcomed by a very entertaining group. Well, we've always said that Goose Bay is Southern Maryland's best kept secret. Uh, we have camping uh, and boating. So we have the boast of, bo best of both worlds. Um, we're a very family oriented uh, campground. Lots of families, their children have grown up here. And uh, boaters, they come down, you don't, you don't all of our boaters, they kind of, um, it's their, their boats are their home away from home. They stay on their boats and spend the whole weekend here. We play bingo, we, we have dances, we have pool parties, we have um, children's activities. And uh, you know, we've given, we've given a lot of families a, a, a place to go and let their hair down and turn their cell phones off and enjoy, enjoy the way we grew up. Their children can ride around on the bikes and, and uh, 
Their family doesn't have to worry about where they are because everybody looks out for each other. We've been coming down here for decades and this place is beautiful. Every, everybody around here is like family to us. You can walk anywhere, talk to anybody, and we usually do just about every night. Nice, friendly, calm place. It's quiet. Uh, you don't have to worry about safety or anything down here. It's just you can walk anywhere, like I said, and everybody is friendly and will help you. And You can let your kids just run free and everybody watches everybody's kids. Where else can you go and let your kids go free? Yeah, we're a full service campground in Marina. We, uh, we have a shift store, camp store. We try to stock everything that, that uh, you could possibly need and all of those things that you forgot that you intended to bring with you, we have those. And, uh, and the Marina end of it, we, we, service, we service boats. Um, we also sell and broker used boats, and that keeps us very busy. We, uh, we have a certified, we have two certified mechanics. We stay very busy. Because I, I work in Washington, D.C., and the stress levels of, of having to go to work every morning, and um, by the time I get down here, you kind of shift gears and you, you move into a whole different world um, to be able to relax, and you just zone out of, of all the stresses and what life brings on to you. Um, I, I tell people all the time when we're out on the boat that we, we live a, a small percentage of, of the world that gets to experience what we experience out there on the water. Um, all the sunsets and the sunrises, uh, it's just an experience that very few people get to, to have fun with and I get a part of that. You have to take those moments, smell the roses and listen to the water and watch the rain fall. You, you have to make yourself prioritize life and it's not all about get out there and work, it's about get out there and enjoy it. The views are pretty and the wildlife down here and uh, my husband and I live very close to here so we get to enjoy it at home as well. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of our customers here have boats and, and they become, some of them have actually, I have one customer here is probably my best friend and uh, it just we hang around together, and party together, and it's just a fa big family party here. Oh, that's a nice unit. Hey guys, if there's anywhere that you think we should travel, please send me an email at lauren at leosrv.com or reach us on Facebook at RV Destinations TV or Leo's Vacation Center. I'm going to go check and see if my RV is ready, but you guys have a great day. RV Destinations is brought to you by Leo's Vacation Center. Shop hundreds of new and pre-owned RVs. Thanks to our selection of the nation's top RV brands and great prices, we've been named a top 50 RV dealership in America, and we are Maryland's number one RV dealership. Great deals await, like new motorhomes starting at 59,900, fifth wheels starting at 32,900, and travel trailers starting at 12,900. Plus, get our lifetime warranty. Leo's RV, there's no better place to shop RV. Start your vacation at Leo's RV.